Now, one terribly important thing if you're going to do any chafing dish cookery is, of course, to practice it beforehand. But then for this kind of cooking, you want to have a very hot flame. And liquid alcohol is the best. Then you want to start out with a dollop of olive oil, put in with dash because you're doing public cooking. And then two tablespoons of the best butter. And you want that butter to bubble and sizzle. That shows that you got your pan hot enough. And then you let it bubble. And as soon as the butter almost begins to brown, which it is doing now, you're ready to add your steaks. So you have two forks, and you unroll one steak there and another here. And as you can see, you can only do two steaks at a time. And also, another reason for having them bathed in olive oil is that they don't stick to the pan. And they have to cook very fast. That's another reason for, for pounding them, because you want them to cook within about half a minute on each side, and you serve them very rare. And that's another reason for having a very fine cut of meat. You can use tenderloin rather than the top loin strip, but I always like loin strip because it has more flavor. And now that's about half a minute. Over it goes on the other side. That's really only seared on that side. Bare, barely brown. And then after you, you do two steaks at a time, as I said, and then as soon as that, and you can feel, as soon as that has a little slight of bit of resistance, it's done. And then roll it up again. And that goes back on your platter. And then you saute the other two steaks. I'm just going to do two of them rather than four. Then after you saute the other two steaks, roll them up and put them there, you then have your flavoring for your sauce. And you've gotten this all ready beforehand. And so that goes into the kitchen on a little tray. There's about a tablespoon of chopped shallots or scallions, and a nice tablespoon of fresh chopped parsley. And then we have a sauce. You have either a beautiful brown sauce of the classic type, or else the mixture that I have here, which is a tablespoon of cornstarch blended with a tablespoon of mustard and then a cup of very fine beef bouillon. And you stir that around. And then you want to have a bit of lemon. As you can see, this is definitely, this is a New York type recipe with the lemon and things in it. And then a little bit of Madeira or port. And a few drops of Worcestershire sauce. And then you. You want to taste it and make sure that that's just exactly right. That's very good. I'm going to put in a few drops of cognac. That never hurt anything. This can be flamed, but I don't know. I think there's too much flaming in tabletop cookery. Oop, I almost turned that over. Then your steaks go back in again. And at this point, I'm going to extinguish the flame. And the steaks get turned in the sauce. And that, that's a very nice touch, I think. And then on to the, <laughs> on to the platter. These very hot dinner plates. Then you do that with all four of them. And then put a little bit more sauce onto each one. And then you have your beautiful, fresh, homemade mashed potatoes and your beautiful, fresh, green peas. And then you have your cake. And here it is, le gâteau victoire au chocolat mousseline, one of the great chocolate cakes of all time, according to me, carefully decorated with rosettes of whipped cream piped through a pastry tube. And with it, I think you could certainly serve a fine bottle of vintage champagne, maybe one of the great California wines. So as I said at the beginning before we started cooking, 
I think this is a nifty little dinner, and I really agree with myself for a chafing dish dinner. And what's more, you're with your guests except for changing dishes every moment of the time. So that's all for today. This is Julia Child. Bon appétit. Julia Child is author of the book, Julia Child and Company.